Hello everyone, it's Connie here from Docs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today's video, we're going to be making a user info command. So without further ado, let's head on over into utilities and make the file. So we're going to do user info.js. Going to head on over to the ping command yet again, and we're going to steal the construct here. Get rid of everything in the run. And what we're going to do is we're just going to change the aliases here and we're going to change it to user. And then we could also add UI. Next in line, you'll realize last video we used something from Anish and we're going to use the user flags again. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly copy this. We're going to go on over here. I'm going to go down two lines and we'll paste it in here. So this will, the link to this will be in the description of the video, just as in last video. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. We're going to start with const member equals. And we're going to equal this to message.mentions.members.last. Now, the reason we're using last here is because in the video, the first video, I think it was the first video, we allowed for the bots mention to be a prefix. And there is ways around this, but I didn't want to extend the video. Um, so what we're just going to do is we're going to allow you to still use the mention prefix in the user info command, but we're just going to make sure to get the last uh, mention. I'll show you what this could happen, like what could happen when we do this. Um, but I think this is just the easiest way around this and I don't think anyone's gonna really have any issue with it. If you obviously wanna get around this, join the Discord, it's in the description and we'll be sure to give you a hand with uh, making a way around this. So next what we're gonna do is message.guild.members.cache and then get and then we're gonna get the target. Now the thing we're gonna do here is, you notice how we haven't used the args yet, but this is the first time we're gonna use args and it's gonna be target. And finally, on the or operators, we've just got the message.member. Next in line, we've got roles. So we're going to do const roles equals, and we're going to do member.roles.cache. And then we're going to sort the array, right? That is returned or the collection. And we're going to sort it by A and also B. And we're going to add an arrow function. And basically, what we're going to do is B position, position minus A position. And then we're going to map the array. So map it and we're just going to have the parameter as roll. I'm going to do uh, roll to string. And then also at the end of here, we're just going to use slice. We're just going to slice off the uh, everyone roll. So what's next? We're going to use const user flags. And then this is where we do array, And this will obviously return an array of the user flags. And now we're going to need to go up to the top of the file here and we're going to do const and then we're going to deconstruct. We're going to do message embed and we're going to require the discord.js package here and not forgetting our semicolons. So now we can head on back down here. We can do const embed equals new message embed and then we can start off by setting the thumbnail. So what we're going to do is set the thumbnail. The thumbnail is going to be message.user.display avatar url and then obviously because this is a method we're able to uh, pass it in some options here so we're going to obviously get dynamic as true and then also we're going to set the size so what does dynamic do dynamic gets the um pretty much if it's animated it will get the animated type here next in line what we're going to do is add a field so in this field we're going to split the fields up by two different ways so we're going to have the users options so i mean like the user properties and all that and then we're also going to have the member so guild member options or properties so we're going to split it up between users and guild members and this is honestly i think it's a good idea that we're doing this because i think it's going to kind of show you guys that there is a clear difference between user and guild member and you'll see the uh, difference here so what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to the server info command i'm going to quickly grab our lovely arrow here this will be in the description of the video as well just under the gist so look out for that so the first one what we're going to do here is we're going to do the username of the user right and because we obtain the guild member here we're going to have to use the user property to obtain user properties and that's pretty much it so what we can do is we can quickly add a comma here and because we've got an array going might as well just quickly do a couple of these so we got username we're going to do the discrim inator and this can obviously be obtained by doing discriminator discrim inator but you can also get these connected together if you do uh what is it just pretty much guild member dot user or tag and then or you can do user tag which will just return the two connected together with the 
uh, what is it, the hashtag in between. Next in line, the ID. Now we don't need to use the user property here because gladly right here, the member has the, the ID, uh, the guild member has the ID of the person as well. So next in line, username, uh, we're going to change username to flags and this is where we're going to use these flags up here uh, So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to use a ternary operator. So user flags dot length and then user flags Dot map and we're just going to map the flag here and we're going to do flag flags and then the individual flag in here and then what we're going to do is we're going to go out here and we're just going to join them by commas here and then obviously if there is none what we're just going to do is return none so i think it's best to, to note that the flags are like the badges um that you you get on your user profile so as you can see you can get verified bot and all that well not you you can get verified bot developer but you get what i mean so what's next in line we've got a couple more to go in the user so after flags what we're going to do is the avatar and what we're going to do is do a master link here which is uh something really cool that you can do so what we're going to do is we're going to do link to avatar and then inside our little brackets here what we're going to do is we're going to have the message.user.display avatar url and then we're going to have it as dynamic and then true yet again adding spaces on either side here now after the avatar what we're going to have is time created and we're going to have to require the moments package yet again so let's do const moment if i can spell moment correctly equals require so we're going to do require and then moment so inside here what we're going to do is moment we're going to pass the member.user.created and then timestamp and then obviously we're going to format that to lt after that, we're going to start another one of these bad boys. We're going to do moment. We're going to do member.user.created timestamp. And then outside of here, we're going to format that to LL. And then just one more time, what we're going to do is we're going to do moment and do member.user.created timestamp. And then outside of here, we're just going to do from now. And that is a little method here. So. What is next? We're going to do the status and then the game. So the status of this member, we can simply get this from doing member.user.presence.status. And then we can actually just quickly grab this, we'll put it in here, presence.game, or we can do not playing a game, right? So we'll do quickly change this to game. And then this will be just this field done. Let's quickly fix all these errors here well not errors just like the formatting issues with the linter so as you'll see roles isn't used because we're just about to do the guild member items here so what we can do is just go down and do add field and then we'll do member add a comma and then an array here quickly just copy this bad boy and we're gonna do one two three four and what i did forget to do actually sorry is add the uh, the blank space So what is the first thing we're gonna look at when we look at a member? We're gonna look at the highest role they have Because we are gonna map the roles obviously, but we're gonna look at the highest role. So member.roles.highest.id equals uh, Message.guild.id And then none We're gonna do member.roles.highest dot name so basically what this is doing is checking if the highest role is the everyone role and if it is we're just going to return none so on the next line here what we're going to do is we're going to do server join date i'm going to use moment again and what we're going to do is do moment you do member dot joined at and then we're going to format this obviously we're going to format we're going to do ll and then LTS Next on the list is the hoist role. So the, the not their highest role just the role that's hoisted They're hoisted as we're gonna do member.roles.hoist And if so, we're gonna display member.roles.hoist and then dot name or we're gonna say none and Finally what we've got here is the roles actually I won't say finally because that's not necessarily true. We've got obviously the blank space down here. 
So with roles, what we can do is we can quickly just add here. We'll do, what did we do in the server info actually? Did we do brackets or? Yeah, so we did, we did brackets, not like curved brackets here. So we'll do uh, the roles.length. Then after this, we can do roles.length is uh, lesser than 10. And do roles.join. And we'll join these by obviously a comma. Then if they're greater than 10, we're going to do roles.length greater than 10. This dot client dot utils dot trim array. I'm going to call in our uh, function here. I'm going to pass in the roles and then we're going to simply have none. So that's all done there. What we're going to do is we're going to set the color and we can do this by doing, we could probably do a little bit higher. I think we'll do it up here. Actually, what we'll do is we'll set color. Now it doesn't really matter uh, what way you have the like the items the methods of a message embed um but it's all it's all up to like user discretion i kind of like it this way um so i'm gonna continue to have it this way so we're gonna do display hex color and then if they don't have a color of their role what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set it to blue now without further ado what we can do is we can just simply return the message here and turn message dot channel dot send and we just send the embed and then voila what we're going to do is quickly get rid of these linter issues as you can see that's all done and what we're going to do is going to head on over into discord and once i have you guys in there i'll bring you back so now that we're in discord what we're going to do is we're going to do the user info command and as you see, it works nice and well. What we're going to do is we're going to use the mention prefix, obviously, and do user info. And then we'll tag, uh, for instance, we could tag Nedbot. Oh, that's not Nedbot. Let's tag Nedbot. And you'll see that it will give the information for Nedbot. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the like button. We'll be adding uh, more of our tutorials along the way. And I'm happy that we're pretty much progressing uh, pretty fluidly right now. And I'll uh, pretty much catch you guys in the next video. We're hoping to get a another Discord.js video out this week for you guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.